morning everyone from uh, the San Juan Inn in uh, Mexican Hat. Basically, Mexican Hat's right around the corner, but uh, we had a great day yesterday. Yeah, super day. Got a uh, great ride in. Came out of Kanab down the 89A. Blew through the Vermilion Cliffs, Jacobs Lake. Just epic. Yeah. So we got into Monument Valley. All of a sudden, Rob's bike started failing. <laughs> So it looks like we got a bad battery. He's got a couple guys that are coming in from Kanab right now. Should be here by eight. Get back on the road and hit it. The early morning startup has begun. Yeah, so here we are, uh, day three. We just left the inn. We're uh, heading up to the gas station. How you doing? And like a sticker? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, it was charging it. That's awesome. From 20 miles standing up. There she is over there. Off on the horizon. Beautiful morning out here, a little cloud cover. We're looking at 86 degrees right now. This is the uh, the World War II Code Talker Memorial Highway. Kind of a interesting, cool thing what the Code Talkers were in World War II. They actually figured out that if they talked uh, in the Navajo tongue, the Japanese would not know what they were saying. So that was kind of a cool thing. Check it out. Look at all these fellas just out here having a good morning. We got uh, Rob's battery, brand new battery. A couple of his buddies rode in and, and delivered a battery for us. So we were good to go on that one. BLTs, chicken strips, no food, no food, waiting for the food. in Frusia? Frutia? Frutia? Something like that. Yeah. Cloudy skies. It's still a little warm out. Pretty over there. Yeah. Some big old uh, plumes of smoke over here. Big, yeah. uh, big fire. Big two, brush two fire. Areas of them. Look at all these guys. We got a long way to go still. So what happened just now? A couple guys pulled up next to a cop. Yeah, and the cop put on his speaker and he said uh, very politely, would you put some eye protection on, please? Thank you. Then he had to say it again. Yes. 
because we don't know sometimes the laws in other states. You, you can be, uh, I think this is a no helmet state, but you still have to have eye protection. Ah, That's I the see. deal. I see. But cool. So Evan also told us a story about those plumes. Yeah, and he, he really had me going for a while, but he said this is called Grand Junction because it's where the tectonic plates meet and, and the volcanoes and the magnum. Magna. Magma flow. <laughs> he lied. Yes, he got me just for a second. All right. Well, we'll see on down the road. Yes, Don't we know will. where we're going to end up tonight, but trying to get to Denver may uh, be somewhere like Glenwood or something like that. Yep. You know? Later. You never know what's going to happen on the road. A little pause in the trip. What? I don't know who chose this route. I don't know. Hey, is that a main pod? What's going on? Oh, yo! What's going on? I don't know. What's going on, man? I don't know. We're somewhere in the Colorado mountains in uh, dead stop traffic. Stuck in the middle of nowhere. It is yeah. beautiful. There's a big fire over there. What? I don't know, man. What? 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 Steamboat, Colorado, but I know we're somewhere we can start drinking. All right, let's well, go. let's get in it. 
Uh, no, no, we were, we're in uh, Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Hold on. You know, we were trying to figure something out. Well, I know, but we're, we're in Steamboat Springs, right. Colorado. We've done any... 430? Yeah. Okay. What about 430? 430 miles today. We did either 200 or 430 or 1,000. We did a lot of miles today. Make sure if they know it was nine and a half hours to do that. I was going to say, all I had to say is, all of everyone here is a bunch of yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Well, every Just time I go to a gas station, we say, don't take your helmets off. And before you know it, all the helmets all are off and everyone's lounging. Hey, who's that guy that just said that? Who? I know, we don't even know him. That's weird, isn't it? Isn't it weird he just well, joined the table? The guy over there. <laughs> yeah. Here we are. Oh, God. Too late in life. Luke What's up, my footage. dudes? Yo, it's Luke. Yeah. Hey, we're in a dark alley over here. Uh, tell us your name. J.M. Collison. John Collison from Corvallis, Oregon. Oh, here nice. with uh, Two Lane Live. Thrashing the highway today. Right on. You DM'd us on uh, the route you were going to take, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. Nice. I DM'd on a couple things. Yeah. So you're headed into Sturgis today, or no? What? I'm. I just sold my hotel room. Got about oh, ten nights for everywhere else, right? I'm just riding. I'm yeah. going to Denver to meet Buddy, and then we're going to cut Thanks back to up northwest. Uh, How's it going? Nice, nice. And uh, I'm going to avoid the crowds. Yeah. Well, we have a house in Sturgis. We're just going to go hang out. We go every year. We got to meet people and hang out. You know. Well, it's a good thing. I was up in Jackson last week. It's pretty, pretty busy. All right, so uh, we're leaving Steamboat Springs. Uh, we're at the Napa oil change uh, for Luke, doing an oil change for Luke, and the guy sold us to take the 14 over the Laramie. So we're going to go check that out. We're supposed to go over the mountain pass. It's beautiful. Awesome day today. Looking good. We're actually uh, cruising. We're going to head into uh, Laramie. But we turned the corner to the 14. There are a bunch of bikes stacked up. And it was guys that we didn't know. It's like all the guys from Arlen S. <laughs> and then we, we start getting a little racy. So the race was on with all these guys out here <laughs> just really ripping down the canyon. It actually was kind of fun. It was really fun. And then we pulled <laughs> over here at the stop sign. So we figured out who they were and we. Everyone shaking hands and high five and oh yeah, uh, it was awesome. <laughs> so, so definitely cool. More to come. All right. snow on the Rockies out there. Yeah, looks beautiful. down the road we see the rain they're not concerned in the least are they they're not He said he caught me doing Yeah, he goes, yeah, the dark bike I caught it doing 107, you at 98. 
No way. Because you're in the lead, it's your fault he was chasing you, I'm giving you the ticket. That's a weird wow. analogy. Well, that's pretty What'd good. What'd he give you? Under 100. Hey. What'd he give you? You won, dude. <laughs> <laughs> was he? Let me get this straight. Lance beat Cole in the race, but no. gets the ticket. He actually didn't beat me in the race. We both saw him at the same time, I just slowed down sooner. <laughs> <laughs> and Lance stopped first. Wow. And you're saying this is Galen's fault? Uh, we're going to have a conversation later tonight. I think it's Galen's fault. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I mean, we were racing and you, you won, I guess. That's your trophy. Yeah. Fellas, South Dakota, South Dakota, the Black Hills. We just had a nice uh, ride in. Yeah, we went through Deadwood, and uh, we're about to go check in and see if we can get into our house. We're gonna take a picture at the sign down here, but we are here in Sturgis. Yo, we got our house. This is the Casa de la Casa for the next few days in uh, Sturgis. And, yeah. Uh, up and look at the sky there. It's kind of dark here. It's a rainy night. It's kind of dead out here. A lot of lightning. Yeah. There's the boys walking down the street. So Rob, that down there, yep. the dungeon bar, we're gonna go in there after we eat. It goes down into a cave underground. Really? It's pretty interesting. That sounds good. Cool. Two lane life, that's what it's about.